now in some databases uh, we'll have we'll have a problem of finding out the summary i mean problem is there will be many situations where you might have to sum all things up or find the summary of what is there in the database now whenever you're trying to do that there might be a problem so the problem is uh, you might have to read many values in order to find the summary and none of these values should change till you you know compute the final summary let us say I'll just give you an example. Let us say you are supposed to find out sum of all salaries of the employees and you have to go to each each employee one by one and assume that they are present in different tables and you are getting the required employees one by one and you are trying to sum all the salaries up. Now while doing this, if someone's salary has been increased or decreased, then it is going to give you a wrong summary. Or if you want to see according to the database of banks, let us assume that you want to find out the sum of all balances in all the accounts which are present in savings and current and different types of accounts let us say mutual funds and all this now you are trying to get the data from various tables and you are trying to sum them up now while doing this from the time you started till the time you end it none of these uh, amounts are supposed to change in the middle if they change even though you are going to get some answer that answer may no longer be valid so what i mean to say is let's take an example here let us assume that there are three values you are trying to sum up right let us say there is k and there is x and there is y and you are trying to sum the values of these three okay now assume that initial value of k is 50 and initial value of uh, x is 100 and initial value of y is 200 okay now if you try to uh, find out the summary i think it is going to be 350 if you try to add the, all the values up it is supposed to be 350 but then while adding them if some of the values are going to change in the middle then it is going to show you a different number for example now let us say you have started with the sum equal to 0 and then you read the value of k and you add it to sum which means you have kept k equal to 50 only right and then after reading k value of x has changed now value of x is increased by 500 which means the value of x has become 600 right and then you are adding the value of x and again y has also been changed to let's say 700 200 it is increased right which, which means let's say 400 now you will get a different summary as how much it is 1050 right this is what the summary you are going to see now assume that after you have read the value of y again the value of uh, you know y has been incremented by 200 at this point let's say again the value of y has been incremented by 200 by the same transaction or some other transaction right you have computed the summary here and you have given that the total sum is 1050 and after computing the summary someone is actually updating the value then what happens is if this one is again incremented by 200 it is going to be 600 and the actual summary should have been 1050 right so what is the meaning of it whenever you are trying to access various values from different databases or different tables it is going to be many operations and in between if someone is going to change the values after you read the values or before you read the values then the answer is going to fluctuate so whatever summary you final give finally give may not be the correct one right sometimes it might be more sometimes it might be less on what is happening with the other values right so this is a problem which is called as incorrect summary problem